نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احل العقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم الہمنا رشتا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم ارنا الحق حقا و رزقنا اتباعا اللہم ارنا الباطل باطلا و رزقنا اجتنابا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ اللہ is saying الرجال قوامون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم على بعض على بعض وبما أنفق من أموالهم Men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other and what they spend from their wealth Ar-rijalu kawamuna ala nisai Men are in charge Men are kawam Kawam comes from the word kama It means standing in Arabic Kawam is a person who is standing over or above other people who are sitting so what does a person who's standing over others do like it's just like imagining an invigilator in an examination hall all the students who are solving their papers the invigilator of the examination of uh, the examination hall is standing over the rest of them so what does a kawam do the kawam orders, commands, and hence controls. Then the kawam would look after and protect. He would supervise, monitor, check, and he will be doing the surveillance and the checking. So likewise, this ayah but calling all men are rijalu kawamun is explaining very clearly and in detail the duties of the husband. Yesterday, Ashiru Hunna Bil Maruf, we discussed the mannerism, the behavior, the attitude of the husband. That itself also was the duty of the husband as far as his mannerism and conduct was concerned. So now being the kawam, the duties of the husband would be then what? Number one, he will be looking after. He will be looking after his wife and obviously his family and offsprings. He will be looking after what? He will be looking after the monetary issues of the family, the needs, the requirements, then the social dealings, their environment, their chastity, their religion, their ethics, their mannerism, their conduct, their behaviors. So he will be looking after so many things of the wife, of the children and of the whole of the family because he, is, he happens to be the kavam. Then being the husband, being the kavam, he will protect them. He will be protecting them, protecting them from like evil and bad deeds bad company, evil and bad environment from, from the difficulties and hardships of life. He will protect them from going astray. He will protect them from being misguided. He will protect their religion. He will protect their honor. So he will be protecting so many things, so on and so forth. Then being a kavam, the duty of the husband is that he will be a guide to them. He will guide them. Guide them for what? Guide them for what is right, what is wrong, what is halal, what is haram, what is good for hereafter. So he will be guiding them for their 
for their religion, for their matters and issues of belief. And then fourth point and the fourth duty of the husband being a kawam will be what? That he will check, he will monitor, he will supervise and he will be doing supervision and surveillance and checking of what? Of their manners, of their conduct, of their ethics, of their ibadah, of their salah, of their fast, of their purity, of their hygiene, of their akaid. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and we discussed in detail in Surah Baqarah, Allah said, Nisahukum harsullakum. Like the farmer looks, looks after his fields, the husband being the being the kawam will be looking after his wife and his spouse and his children. So the next point, being a kawam, being a person who is standing over and above the others and his family, he will be doing what? He will be ordering them. So the next duty of the husband is to order, to command and to control. So being a kawam, he is the leader. He is the person in charge. He is the controller of all affairs and issues in the and the matters in the family. He is going to head the family. Because you know that in all setups, you always need to have one head. Like in the departments of the colleges, of the schools, we always have one head of the department. The university has one vice, one VC or one vice chancellor. The factory has one general manager or the GM. Any organization has one chairman. And above all, the universe has one Allah. And that is exactly why there is there is so much peace, there is so much harmony in the universe. So if we want the system of our house and our family to run peacefully, smoothly and in harmony, then in the basic unit of the society, the home, the head of the family has to be one and that has been announced as the husband. So being kawam is basically twofold. This is also the duty of the husband and it is also the right of the husband. He has to be and he has to act as the leader and it is a trial for him. This is his duty and he has to be accepted as the leader and this is his right. And this is the duty of his wife. She, she has to accept him as the commander, the kawam. Accepting him as the commander, she has to surrender to his commands. She has to obey his orders. And she has to accept his policies and his dictations and his decisions. And in this ayah, if you see, Allah says, all men or whatever color, whatever creed, whatever tribe, whatever state of mind, whatever state of education, whatever state of his wealth or richness, when a wife at the time when she is being married, she shows the willingness, she shows the willingness, willingness to be married to a man, then actually she is announcing and she is promising to accept his authority over her. So then once she has accepted him for marriage, she has accepted and she has announced and she has promised and she has declared that she will be accepting his authority over her. And so all men, May they be rich, they may be poor, they may be young, they may be old, they may be healthy, they may be sick, they may be strong, they may be weak, they may be educated, they may be uneducated. Once they they happen to be the husband to a wife, they are the kawam. All men and 
all husbands will be considered as the kawam this i again repeat is the duty of the husband the trial of the husband and at the time is the right and the duty right of the husband and the duty of the wife as well now allah has made this kawam as a duty for the husband what sort of a kawam Allah has just not made him the kawam, but various points in the Quran, Allah has also taught him how to act as a kawam. He he does not he doesn't have to be, or in fact, he is not a hard-hearted, a harsh kawam. He is not ill-mannered. He is not bad-tempered. He doesn't use a loose tongue. He doesn't have a foul language. He doesn't go about here and there, slapping, hitting, hurting around in the family. No, he is what ashiruhun na bil maaruf. He is what nisa okum harful lakum. He has been taught hun na lebasul lakum wa antum lebasul lahun na. So he is. He is a polite. He is a refined, cultured, well-mannered, soft-spoken, soft-hearted, cool-minded, patient, tolerant, loving, caring, sincere, kawam, and the husband. So this is all the duty of the husband, and these are all the rights of a Muslim wife. rights of the muslim wife that the husband acts like a kawam and behaves like this now the next thing is that why has allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chosen the husband to be the kawam allah is mentioning the reason here also wa bima anfaqu min amwalihim the first reason that because all forms of monetary commitments have been handed over to him he is the provider for the family and he handles all the economic issues and the matters so authority has been given to the person who earns and who spends who provides so and then he's been given the authority over the wife secondly because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says bima faddala allah ba'dhum ala ba'd this was the first reason because he's he is stronger allah has given him fazilat and allah has given him one great up and this is what he is stronger physically and emotionally we all do agree to the fact that men are physically strong and they are emotionally strong men have a higher emotional iq they are strong willed they are generally more patient they are generally more to tolerant they are generally generally usually like 95% of husbands are more cool minded and patient than the wives they do not lose temper they do not get upset on trivial issues they're more composed they have more self uh, control and that is why and the two reasons why the husband has been made as the kawwa all husbands are therefore being instructed to act as a kawwa and a caretaker and the mannerism and the behavior of the kawwa has also been in a very black and white form be instructed and guided over to the kawams fi amanillah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh